Hey everyone, this is the video, or the video, I always do that. The painting from the last video where I was trying to replicate the one before that. Um, I am not happy with this at all. Um, it is way, way, way too heavy. Um, just too, well, you can just tell. It, it. It's like a black hole. It's just, it's not light and airy. It's just too, it, I feel it's weighty. Pulls you down looking at it. Um, so I suppose it could be a good piece for, you know, when you're feeling very depressed. But um, I prefer my fluid art to be more uplifting. So I'm going to try it again. Um, I'm going to use a little less black. I'm going to do the Bordeaux red, the pearl gold copper with the iridescent medium, and a little bit of gold, which is um, the Arteza. So these are all Artezas, except this one has this in it. And the white background paint is um, this with Floetrol and water. But Arteza is sending me a bunch of white because um, they know I use it a lot. This also works well um, for negative space. Uh, this is at Michael's. I want to say these are $10, but you know, they usually have those 40 and 50% off coupons. And I do mix this with flow troll and water. I find it says flow acrylic. I find it to be just as thick as their tubes. So go figure. All right. I am. Get you up here. And usually people are like, oh, don't paint over it, don't paint over it. But I have a feeling with this one, most of you are going to be a-okay with it. Um, because I can't be the only one who thinks it is just too heavy. And the reason, the other reason it got too heavy is I used the Van Dyke Brown plus gold which here you can see it. It, it. it is a heavy, dark color. Whoops. Ready. Glove up. Oh, so we dropped our son off at college yesterday. I swear his room is even smaller than mine was. His dorm is over 50. No, it's probably 60 years old because my dad's best friend in college lived in the same dorm my son is in, and my dad is 76. So, uh, and so they are, it is so tiny, and there's, there's some, there's, so there's the two beds, and they're lofted, and then there's, um, there's one dresser, so they can each have some drawers, two tiny closets, two desks, and a fridge. But it is like so much room for my son because he literally bought, brought two cardboard boxes full of, that's it. One cardboard box was full of his towels and pillow, and the other cardboard box had clothing. He brought no accessories for the door. You know, you see the girls moving in and they have, some had like plants and cute decorations and, you know, all the fancy um, little shelving units, you know, from Target, all that cute stuff with the drawers and, you know, the fabric stuff. And he has nothing. He didn't even bring a laundry basket. He's got like, as I said, his two cardboard boxes. I made him keep one cardboard box for under his bed. Um, I was like, well, if you end up needing a table, you can at least flip the cardboard box over. Um, so he's got nothing uh, and he's happy about it. Um, and usually he overpacks for stuff. So it was kind of weird because 
I mean, I've talked about all his travels. He travels, um, he's traveled overseas and all sorts of traveling with um, BBYO, his, the youth group he was in. But he definitely did not overpack. But he, and he also being a, you know, boy, he never texts me back ever. But last night, because every night I yell downstairs, night, love you. And because I go to bed before everyone else. And so last night I texted him, good night, love you. And he responded in like 20 seconds, love you. I, if, you, if I could frame a text, I would. I think that's the first time he said, love you. So I, and then I had to fight my desire to want to, you know, say, what are you doing? You know, who'd you meet? Da, 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 da. So then I joked with my husband, well, he either truly realizes he's gone from home or he's wasted in sentiment. Because <laughs> it is his first night of college and I'm thinking back to my first few nights of college and I, there, there were libations involved. So I don't know, it's tough. And I switched jobs, so I am now working nights again. So I've been home all day today, which is bizarre. Um, it feels bizarre to be home, and it feels just everything's weird. But, you know, I like to close my eyes and jump, and I guess that's what I did, because, you know, Change jobs, him grab, you know, him leaving, everything, all at the same time. Because that's just what I do. <laughs> so, it's weird. Alright. Ooh, I almost lost that whole thing. This is the same white as the Dutch boy. I am glad they're sending me some more white though because their paints dry really smooth and shiny. And I hate that I sound like I'm pimping them out, but they really are exceptional paints. Um, I'd be I should ask that, you know, what makes them different? I don't know what makes it, them different from other brands. Um, what makes them dry um, shinier? Uh, they almost dry like, um, oh, if you use Liquitex pouring medium, it dries shiny. It's almost dries looking like that. But as most of you know, I despise pouring medium. <laughs> but still have like a tub of it but I don't know if I'll, I've had that tub for two years now I don't know what I'll ever do with it all right so start the airbrush away from it you know this is on my Amazon page master airbrush and I want to say 40 bucks give or take I can't remember exactly But we, my husband and I, my husband and I both work all day Sunday, so we have a feeling my son will drive home, pick up a bunch more stuff while we're gone so he doesn't have to see us and then go back to school. I'll let you know if our prediction is correct. He's only 40 minutes away, so it's a super, and it's just like one highway. I mean, it's a piece of cake. If you know the Midwest, it's Omaha to Lincoln. It's like literally just, you don't even turn really.
Very cool. So here is my, don't know what to do, like, so perfect, but I don't like just this in the middle, like, wondering yeah, if I blow this back over, what will happen? I'm just going to do it. If I don't like it, wipe it and start back off. Well, that did not do what I thought. I was thinking I could get it to fold over like an omelet. <laughs> Obviously, I could not. So, in lieu of my omelet, I'm going to tilt. Now that I have the excess white that I put on there, Trying to tilt it down towards me and off the sides without totally ruining the other side. Um, but I don't like the look of it just straight in the center. It 
just doesn't look right to my eye. Oh, and also my son picked the room directly across from the bathroom, like directly across. He's going to have the most high traffic. He's like going to be the highest traffic zone area. So then, of course, I went back and looked at photos of my dorm room. And my dorm room may have been just as small, but since his has like all like more furniture in there, it seemed that it's so tight. They have like huge refrigerators in their dorms though. But it, I mean, it, it's interesting because I remember, I mean, back when I was in college, you know, it was who's going to bring the TV and who's going to bring the phone and because, you know, now everybody has their own laptop and cell phone, so you don't need a TV and a this and a that. Everything's so different. Sometimes making things like look right to me, it's kind of, it's kind of like when you cut your own bangs and it's like, oh, the left side's too short. So you trim that. Now the right side's too short. Eventually you end up with no bangs at all. I am super happy with the red. Um, you really can't see the coppers and golds a whole lot. Um, the red really took over. Um, and instead of, uh, since I put white on top, um, I've got the white outlining. Like I wonder if I'll see any gold or copper come to the surface on this side. But I am happy with it, and I don't think it will end up super dark like the other one. Um, I don't think there's really any way it can. So there you have it. <laughs> Second try, much better than the first. Catch you next time. Bye.